I'm Dave Reed Miller, director of the Climate Center. We all know that climate change is happening largely as a result of human emissions of greenhouse gases. One of the things that's probably not as well appreciated is the profound impact that climate change is having on the marine environment. And nowhere are we seeing that more evident than here in the Gulf of Maine. One thing we're seeing is that the rates of warming here in the Gulf of Maine are three times the global average. The Gulf of Maine is warming faster than 95% of the world's oceans. And in fact, the year of 2021 was the warmest year on record. It was more than four degrees Fahrenheit above the long-term average. And it was the first time that the Gulf of Maine experienced a marine heat wave for the entirety of the calendar year. Why is this happening though? Well, there are a couple reasons. One is that we have two main ocean currents that influence temperature in the Gulf of Maine. The first is the Labrador Current that brings cold water down from the Arctic, and the other is the Gulf Stream that brings warm water up from the tropics. Historically, the Labrador Current has played a really dominant role, keeping waters here pretty cool. But over time, in part as a result of climate change, we're seeing the influence of the Gulf Stream have a far greater impact, bringing warmer water into the Gulf of Maine. But the other really big piece of this is the shape of the Gulf of Maine itself. By definition, it's a gulf, and so it's closed off from the broader Atlantic Ocean. But we also have underground features that isolate it even more, such as George's Bank, which extends underwater from Cape Cod to really close off a lot of, um, a lot of the region. And what happens as a result of that is that water can stay in the Gulf of Maine for a while, and you can get that warm water kind of staying in there and heating from above. But why does this matter? Well, there's really two big impacts from a warming Gulf of Maine. The first is the physical impacts of it, right? When you heat up water, it expands, and that's causing sea level rise. We're seeing rates of sea level rise here in the Gulf of Maine that are faster and greater than the global average, and that's increasing the risk of flooding in the region. Secondly, we're seeing species that have historically really found this environment quite hospitable to them, finding it less so these days. Other species are now finding the Gulf of Maine to be their Goldilocks situation, and so they have an environment in which they can thrive. We rely on the Gulf of Maine to drive our regional economy, whether it's from seafood or recreation or any number of other marine uses, it really helps support uh, our region and the way we identify ourselves. Because things are happening more rapidly here, we are in a sense kind of forced to take action more quickly. And as a result, we can share those lessons with people around the world.